Welcome to Easy Robotech. Today, we are delving into the world of voice over IP system Noah's VoIP, as we guide you through the complete setup using free PBX. From installation to configuration, every step is covered. And guess what? Stay tuned until the end because we are not just talking theory. We'll be doing a live demonstration with actual calls to showcase the power of our configured VoIP system. So let's set up a robust communication solution together and cap it off with a live calling extravaganza. Let's dive in and make communication magic happen. Without any further ado, let's start the video tutorial. To kick things off, the user needs to download the free PBX operating system ISO file. To do that, open your preferred web browser and search for free PBX download. Then click on the first link that appears to enter the official website. Once the website is fully loaded, scroll down and find the download free PBX button. Upon clicking the download button, a form will appear. Fill in the required user details, such as your name, phone number, email address, and country. Then choose End User from the provided options. and select cloud. After completing the form, click on the download button. Allow the automatic download process to complete. While waiting for the download to finish, take a moment to install a virtual machine software, such as VMware. If you are unsure about how to do this, I have included a link in the video description to a playlist that guides you through creating a virtual machine using different software options. Once both the virtual machine software and free PBX OS are ready, Proceed further by launching VMware. Start creating virtual machine by clicking on Create a new virtual machine. In the new virtual machine wizard, choose the Typical option and click Next. Then select the option as I will install the operating system later and proceed by clicking Next. Now, specify the operating system settings. By choosing Linux as the operating system and other Linux 2.6.x kernel 64-bit as its version. Then click Next. Here, decide where you want to save the virtual machine data by clicking Browse and also provide a name for the virtual machine. Continue by clicking Next. Then specify the disk capacity for the virtual machine you are creating. For free PBX, it's recommended to allocate at least 50 GB of space. Click Next. Now, click on Customized Hardware. Then select New CD, DVD. And choose Use ISO Image File. Here, browse for the free PBX downloaded file and then click Close. Finally, click Finish to complete the virtual machine creating process. To initiate the installation process, click on Power on this virtual machine. Follow the on-screen prompts by selecting the first option, pressing Enter. And choosing the Free PBX Standard option. The installation process will begin. The installation process may take 20 to 30 minutes. Ensure you don't skip any steps, particularly during the installation and configuration process. In the middle of the installation, you'll encounter several crucial settings. Language settings, time settings, installation source, software selection, installation destination, network configuration, root password setting. The root password is vital for progressing further in the installation. Here, I'll guide you through two key settings now, and the remaining configurations can be covered later in the video. Let's start with selecting the language setting. To do that, type 1 and press enter. Choose your language by entering the corresponding serial number. For example, 16 for English. Then type C to return to the main menu and proceed with other settings. For setting the root password, Type 8 and press enter. Then type your desired password. 
Press enter and confirm it. Ensure both entries match to avoid errors. If successful, type Y to confirm. Now, proceed by typing B to start the installation. Without configuring these parameters, if you attempting to type B, will not initiate the installation. After the installation completes, a pop-up will appear, indicating, Sangoma Linux. Press enter to continue. Upon completion, log in to the free PBX server using, root, as the username, and the password you set during installation. Once logged in, you'll see the free PBX virtual machine's IP address displayed on the screen. Open your web browser and then type in the provided IP address to access the free PBX web client. On your initial access to the free PBX web client, you'll need to configure the admin user with specific details. Here is a step-by-step -step guide. Enter a username. Choose a username for the admin user. This will be used to log in to the free PBX system. Set a password. Create a secure password for the admin user. Ensure it meets any specified requirements for complexity. Confirm password. Re-enter the password to confirm accuracy. Provide an email address. Enter a valid email address associated with the admin user for communication purposes. System identifier. Keep VoIP server selected as the system identifier. This helps identify your system as a voice over internet protocol, VoIP server. Module updates. Configure the module update settings. Disable or enable automatic module updates based on your preference. Enable automatic module security updates for enhanced system security. Security emails. Customize the security email settings. Disable sending security emails for unsigned modules if desired. Update schedule. Select the day and time to check for updates every week. This ensures your system stays up to date. Please note that the above settings are shown for demonstration purposes in this tutorial. Feel free to adjust them according to your specific requirements. Once you've completed the configuration, click on Setup System to finalize and apply the settings. Thank you for staying with us throughout this tutorial, where we covered the essential steps of downloading, installing, and configuring the basic web client for your voice over IP server using FreePBX. Your understanding of these fundamentals is crucial for a seamless setup. Now, get ready for the next chapter. In our upcoming video, we'll take a deeper dive into the comprehensive configuration of FreePBX using the web client. Also, we'll walk you through each step, providing a live demonstration to ensure you have a hands-on understanding. Your support means the world to us, so if you found this video helpful, please take a moment to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. By doing so, you'll stay updated on our latest technical topics.